A May Day Whim by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Let me go forth upon the sunlit way and revel in the beauties of the day, the greening trees, the zephyrs at their play. Let song of bird rout every thought of care, and all the fragrance of the gardens fair make sweetly odorous the morning air. Let me drink in life's beauty as the bee sips sweetness from the roses bounty free until I'm fairly drunk with ecstasy. And then, when with the Maytime's joys replete, to toil-worn ways I turn my dancing feet. Let me transmit that joy to all I meet, that others sharing in that meed of cheer may greet me smilingly when I appear and cry, Hurrah! The sun of May is here. May 1st End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Seed by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk Send out each day some pleasant whim Designed to make the hour less grim For someone in the grip of woe and like a flower seed twill grow into a rich and fragrant bloom that yet may lighten thine own gloom and into some dark hour press an unsuspected loveliness may second end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Treasury by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk I would I could devise some way to store the loveliness of May For use in some far-off November Or in the days of chill December A goodly planet were to try to seize the gold from out the sky and in some sanctuary store a portion of its lovely score what safer strong box could there be beyond the reach of thievery for all this wealth of gracious toll than in the coffers of the soul may third end of poem this recording is in the public domain The Singing Breeze by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk A breeze came by upon a city street So filled with stress and onward rushing feet It did not seem that anywhere could be A touch of quiet and tranquility And as it passed along it seemed to sing a song of dark green woods and richly verdured hills and fresh turned fields and laughing mountain rills that danced by mossy banks with ferns o'ergrown where weary feet might wander not alone but in the dear companionship so blest of perfect rest and i i thanked that little breeze because into the city's rush that knows no pause it brought me dreams of byways passing fair where one may woo forgetfulness of care and hearts grown weary of the world's alarms may find sweet respite in dear nature's arms may fourth end of poem this recording is in the public domain.
A Toast to Earth by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Ye call me earthy of the earth, as though I'd little of true worth, and are inclined to frown and sneer because I sing of blessings here and take a smiling attitude of unremitting gratitude for worldly gifts of loving cheer well sneer and jeer i am content for while in earth's confines i'm pent it is the field god's given me in lavish generosity to make the best i can of it to seek and find the plan of it and make it what he'd have it be so here's to earth a gift of love for us to taste the sweetness of a garden fair with flowers gay that we may gather day by day its beauties i shall sing of them and sound the golden ring of them till life itself hath passed away may fifth end of poem this recording is in the public domain the point of view by john kendrick bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. The world is here for what it is, A thing of pain, a thing of bliss, A thing of dullness, or of wit, According as we look on it. If in my heart I dwell on woe, And on the weeds that in it grow, Twill prove a sorry sort of place, Devoid of beauty, and of grace but if i spend my waking hours in thinking on its lovely flowers and all the blessings i have got twill be for me a garden spot wherefore whatever woes may press i'll think upon earth's loveliness and thereby win the gracious good of its unbounded plenitude may sixth End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Little Bird by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Peep, said a little bird one morn, when I was feeling quite forlorn. I took a peep and saw arrayed in loveliness the world displayed cheap said the little bird and i the truth of it could not deny for all earth's lavish beauty spent on me had cost me not a cent may seventh end of poem this recording is in the public domain To Happy Land by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Bruce Kachuk. Down with all things melancholic, spring was made for joyous frolic. Music greets us everywhere. Flowers fragrant scent the air. Lawns for dancing feet are spread. Skies are smiling overhead sunlit vistas lure the eye into golden prospects nigh sense of buoyant youth renewed stirs the heart to gratitude wherefore brothers let's be jolly fling away all melancholy and with nature hand in hand hie us on to happy land may eighth end of poem this recording is in the public domain
The End and the Beginning by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Emma Charlotte Age holds no fears for me I face it cheerfully For I the faith sublime And growing all the time That when life's cruise is o'er I'll find another shore Whence I may forward press To scenes of loveliness And far from being vexed by years I think, what's next? And smiling wait upon, the mysteries anon. May ninth, end of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Pages of Life by John Kendrick Banks Read for LibriVox.org by Emma Charlotte If from the page of some insensate book a cheery flower of hope may sometimes spring, And into some dark shadowed spirit nook A gleam of light to ease its sorrow bring. How much the more from out the living day Of human sympathy may there be born A stream of radiance to light the way From woe to joy for travellers forlorn. May 10th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Singing Way by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Emma Charlotte. Like to the winging bird I'd soar aloft Into the springy air so fairly soft And on the topmost bough of some green tree Pour out in song the very soul of me, And with the breezes speed my singing way, Rejoicing in the loveliness of day, With thanks for earth which holds in lavish mead, Rich gifts of every kind to meet my need. May 11th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Laughing Song by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Emma Charlotte I'd like to write a laughing song, a rollicking and chaffing song, so lively and so jolly, t'would put a real quietus on the troubles that await us on account of melancholy. I want to see a tearful world transformed into a cheerful world, all full of happy hours, where we can joy in May again, And little children play again, Among the smiling flowers. So help me write my happy song, A brightly lilting snappy song, To sing upon the morrow, When God's fair world set free again, From strife and misery again, Shall rise to joy from sorrow. May 12th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Hopes Restored by John Kendrick Banks Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish Our hopes may wane and fade away And gloom attend to the darkening day But this I know, no gloomy hour Can hold me in its gripping power for though all grey that hour may be, another soon will come to me, bright with the golden glow of morn, new hopes upon its fleet wings borne, on which I yet may rise and find the lofty bays I have in mind. May 13th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Promises by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. I saw a blossom on a tree that told of fruit to come to me. I saw the sun all golden bright that promised endless stores of light. I heard a bird sing songs at noon that held the lilt of coming June. I glimpsed a light in someone's eye 
a promise sweet of by and by. On every hand below, above, are promises aglow with love, that tide me over stressful things, and give new strength to weary wings. May 14th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Immune by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Emma Charlotte. Hammer on, O oh fate, whack and slam and bang. Land with all your weight, I don't give a hang. I am here today, and the skies are blue, and I'll joy in May, in despite of you. All your bumps and shoves can't destroy the flowers. For the soul that loves Maytime's happy hours. Slap and snap and sneer Every chance you see. Not a plaint or tear Will you get from me. May 15th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Daily Book by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Each day I live is like a book to me, all full of pure romance and mystery, with love and laughter and some tragedy. I read it as I run, and try to find my place in it, a place of proper kind to suit my qualities of heart and mind. I care not be its hero, but tis clear that if I smiling go in my own sphere, my part in it will be a part of cheer. And that's a role that in the story's stress tis well to play, if when it leaves the press the tale shall end in love and happiness. May 16th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Wireless by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish Now wireless telegraphy is quite a wondrous thing to me. Although I must admit it's true, there's nothing in it very new. For ever since the world began, and maid was maid, and man was man, without the aid of earthly arts, hearts e'er have spoken unto hearts, and sent their messages of cheer vibrating through the atmosphere. May 17th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Mirth Cure by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Once in the grip of a malign mischance, a victim of an evil circumstance, I thought of something funny, and I grinned, forgetful of the woe that had me pinned, and all the ill that vexed my soul with care went off like smoke and vanished in the air, and, freed of thoughts of it, I saw the way out of the trials saw that spoiled my day, and soon emerged out of my chancy plight into the golden glory of the light. May 18th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Resolve by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Rain or shine, it's not to me what the outer weather be, if inside a heart of cheer routs all thoughts of irksome fear. Like a tree that stands serene in the midst of tempests green, whatsoever winds are blowing, 
I shall smile and keep a growing. May nineteenth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Understudies by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. When Mr. Sun, with all his power, through clouds can't make his way, and all the skies are dark and dour, and gloomy is the day, a twinkling eye, a friendly smile, some action full of grace, will help us for a little while to take the old boy's place. May 20th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To the Rose by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tfarish They call you, Rose, a royal thing Because your lavish coloring Suggests the garb of reigning king. But I demure, O oh Rose, at that, To me you're no aristocrat, But just a simple democrat because no matter who he be king peasant clod or royalty you deign to nod at all you see with one and all your beauties fair your lovely hues your fragrance rare without reserve you freely share and never ask if he be high or lowly placed who passes by and all stand equal in your eye May twenty first. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. In Plain Sight by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Has anyone e'er seen the soul? Ay, that have I, and often too. So oft twould take an endless scroll to hold the record full and true. I've seen it in a mother's eye, perceived it in a friendly hand, in acts of grace and sympathy I've witnessed it in every land. Where love reveals its winning smile, where brotherhood the spirit is, where living truth hath conquered guile, and mercy tempers nemesis, where faith and honor dwell serene, and service hath become the goal, in sightless eyes full well have seen that splendid vision of the soul. May 22nd End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Thief by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish I find that unbelief is nothing but a thief That robs me of my sense of God's rich providence That takes from me the light the heavens hold in sight To lead my soul above to realms of endless love that wrests from me the bays that urge to higher ways and clouds the smiling face of everlasting grace to leave me in my stress a world of nothingness. May 23rd End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Homeward Way by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish Yes, life is a stormy journey, And the skies are sometimes bleak, And the rough and tumble journey finds me weak. But I waste no time in fretting As my troubled way I roam, For I know each day I'm getting nearer home. May 24th. 
End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Link by John Kendrick Banks, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. A day is short, and oft, I think, it counts but little in the strife, yet each one forms a special link to make or break the chain of life. May 25th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Your Share by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. Your place may be an humble place. You may not run the swifter race. You may be classed among the small of whom the world ne'er hears at all. And yet the sun that shines above and all the wealth of human love are yours as much as his whose might has placed him on the topmost height, e'en more, perhaps, for some who climb, for love and light have little time. May 26th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Visions by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish your dreams may not come true just to the letter yet make a world of rue brighter and better with hints of nobler heights that tempt to loftier flights so dream away my lad despite derisions and keep your spirit glad with golden visions that open up new ways to fresher greener bays and high ambitions May 27th End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. A Resolve by John Kendrick Bangs Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish I shall not sing the bad, I shall not sing the wrong, I shall not let the sad intrude upon my song but all my singing days in scenes of peace or strife i'll chant the lines of praise the graciousness of life may twenty eighth end of poem this recording is in the public domain stumbling by john kendrick bangs read for librivox dot org by Tavarish. If you shall stumble now and then, don't let a fall your spirits balk. Rise up upon your feet again, as when a child you learned to walk, and stride along upon your way, and there will come a time secure when, as in that far childhood day, you found your halting footstep sure. May twenty ninth. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Memorial Day by John Kendrick Bangs, read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. For them that died that men might be forever and forever free, this is the day of memory. Fair nature's self devotes her powers with all her golden sunny hours to spreading o'er them fragrant flowers where there shall fall a drop of rain tis but the tear to prove their pain and sacrifice were not in vain and if the skies shall be all blue their azure is the flawless hue that stands for honor tried and true May 30th. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. The Victor by John Kendrick Bangs. Read for LibriVox.org by Tavarish. 
one grasped at stars and ceased but emptiness the sheer vacuity of space and then out of the veils of failure in distress bemoaned the blindness of his fellow men because they could not see how truly great was he another grasped the nettle at his side and never even dreamed to win a name and sought the deed of service without pride or thought ambitious for undying fame and wondered at the bays that crowned his later days may thirty first end of poem this recording is in the public domain end of the cheery way a bit of verse for every day may by john kendrick bangs